come join us on our time to wander as we explore the vibrant city of Bangkok. In this video, we share with you 10 worthwhile activities and attractions that we enjoyed during our nine-day visit. It was a perfect mixture of history, culture, food, nature, and fun. We hope you enjoy this video. We took to the river on several occasions as it was a fun and interesting way to navigate the city. Many different boats and ferries provide you a quick way to cross the Chao Prey River for a few bombs. You can even put together your own river cruise and spend a full afternoon seeing the sights from the water. The breeze over the water is a comforting respite from the hot temperatures of the city. If you get a chance, be sure to ride it at night time too. We had a lovely drizzly day to visit the Grand Palace. This palace was the Thai royal residence from 1782 until 1925. The gardens and statues, the temples and building architecture are also beautiful. This complex is also home to the temple that houses the famous Emerald Buddha, a small but much venerated image that watches over the Thai people. We stumbled onto this park after a visit at the Charichak Weekend Market. The park is located just north of the market and provides a quiet, serene space after a morning of jostling the crowds looking for goods. The greenery, water features and paved paths make for a great visit. Icon Siam is a huge fancy mall on the riverside in the heart of Bangkok. For us, this big mall was an oasis of air-conditioned comfort, a place of clean washrooms and refreshing drinks in Michelin star restaurants. We hung out in a Starbucks a couple of times, reading our books, drinking ice drinks and enjoying the comfy chairs. The Michelin star restaurant Cam's Roast had the best roast duck and roast pork and barbecue pork that we've ever had. And the view over the river top from the rooftop deck was beautiful. Siam Museum was a hidden gem as we came upon it after emerging from a metro station. The museum takes a truly interactive approach as it poses the question, what is Thainess? and then goes about in a fun and engaging way of helping one to explore the Thai culture and what makes the people of Thailand so unique. We particularly enjoyed the school classroom display and the interactive recipes that helped explain the different Thai dishes. This museum is one not to be missed and would be a great introduction to what makes the Thai culture so distinct. Thailand's history is long and rich. It's one of very few countries that has never been conquered by another. Visiting the National Museum of Thailand brought this history to life for us. The museum is located in the former home of the Vice King of Thailand. On display are collections of items from the Buddhist faith, as well as items that belong to different Thai rulers. We found the chariots and thrones really interesting. Thai kings sat cross-legged on their thrones and rode cross-legged on their chariots. The king's funeral chariot holding his ashes was carried by 56 pallbearers. We had the opportunity to explore Chinatown on two occasions, once in the afternoon and once at night. It is an expansive part of Bangkok that truly comes alive at night with a multitude of food stalls and stands selling a variety of tasty treats. We grazed throughout the evening sampling delicious morsels of food that left us wanting more. 
the bright neon lights, wafting aromas, and the chatter of the food hawkers creates a feast for the senses. The reclining Buddha of Wat Po is absolutely incredible. He lolls in elegant golden splendor, reaching a length of 46 meters. He dates back to the 16th century, when the first king of Thailand, Rama I, had him made. Today this site is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and some of Rama I's ashes are enshrined here. This site is also the home of the first school of Thai massage and the school is still in operation. Lumpini Park is often called the green lungs of the city, as it is an expansive green space in the middle. We in fact were on the lookout for water monitors during our visit. These large lizards can be found throughout the park, around the different water features. This park has many pathways, gazebos, playgrounds, and even a library. It is a park worthy of a visit. Rick and I really enjoyed our morning at the Siamese Cookery House. Our instructor Nan was so friendly and organized and made sure everyone had such a fun and positive experience. We first went to the local market to purchase the freshest of ingredients lemongrass, garlic, purple flowers, banana leaves, etc, etc, etc. Then we took a tuk-tuk to the clean, air-conditioned classroom. We put on gorgeous aprons, washed our hands, then rolled up our metaphorical sleeves and got to work making tom yum soup, shrimp pad thai, chicken and green curry, and purple mango sticky rice. No shortcuts. Everything from scratch. And everything absolutely delicious. We left feeling full of delicious goodness and very proud of our culinary success.